fucking talking about. I come to Greg's house and I say, Greg, I can't be cutting timber worrying about fucking chains. Give me a ball of chains. Gives me a ball of chains. That's the fuck. I don't like the word can't be cutting timber. Well, can't be cutting timber for the lack of chains would be fair stupid, wouldn't it? <laughs> Hi. Shocking. Shocking the man having to build his own bridges. But you know, if you can't build your own bridge, you won't be able to get over it. Oh, jeez, I'm so angry at myself. I just caught a tree and I was changing from tree seven to pulp and I hit the other tree. I hit. Disappointed in myself. I feel that I've let myself down, I've let everyone else down, and most of all I've let G and G down. So I'd like to apologize to everyone for my incompetence. I'm gonna leave her in there. Walk out for lunch. Cause I don't wanna be driving up and down that lane. Fucking it up for the harvester powder. Harvester powder. Don't even know what I'm driving anymore. Me and Mark are having lunch in the big horn there. Oh jeez, the big horn some yoke. Do you like daddy's big horn? I love it. I love it too. Nothing like sitting sitting on daddy's big horn having a bit of it. My first chain to right off today. Now Greg did tell me, you know, it's stony up in that block. Make sure to use all the sharpened chains. So I'll definitely be doing that. You couldn't be putting new chains on, you know what I mean? Now a lot of people wouldn't sneak in that far for a tree, but I um, I think they all deserve a chance for a second life. There was a couple of people wondering why I wasn't on yesterday, but you know, it's, uh, I was just so busy and I was in bad form. And, like, just to give you a taste of what it's like to live the rock and roll lifestyle of a social media influencer like myself, like, it's actually very easy for the fame to get to you. Got a phone call off Vicky around 10 o'clock. A house that we were trying to rent for the last four weeks fell through. Grand, I can deal with that. That's just life. Then, around 3 o'clock, she rang me to say that our storage was blocked up. Fucking weird. Grand. You know, I dealt with shit like that before. <laughs> Excuse the pun. Got the rods. Went home, got my dinner. Went outside and, like a man, just got stuck in. And then had a four and a half hour session of rotting and playing with me own shite. And playing with everyone else's shite that lives in my house. To realise that it was on the council side the problem was. So then this morning got up, splitting headache, then ring the council. That was a waste of fucking time. Then they got me onto Irish water and now I just have to dodge me own shite and everyone else's for the next few days until they come out. Wasn't much point in me coming on here with a puss on me like this yesterday. And I definitely wasn't going to come on and pretend to be full of the joys of spring when I absolutely bullying over a yoke. But yeah. I'd get over disappointment quick. I'd want to, wouldn't I? I'd want to. The way I conduct myself. Well, I'm in good form today now because I'm actually going well. I'm actually going really well. I'm fucking, I'm making plenty of this. It's gonna make G and G happy. I hope. Lads. Just home here, relaxing after a busy evening. And, um, I would show you the baby, but she's she's dining. She's dining. So, anyway, I try my best to teach lads how to drive forwarders. Like, I've done a great job on my nephew, Sean. He takes pride in his work. And he goes home in the evening and comes back next morning expecting to see his stacks as he left them. And no, it's not fucking stone cold cowboys that are wrecking it. No. It's fucking cows. Farmers not controlling their feckin' cattle. Now migrating, looking for worms. Now they're attacking our stacks of timber. I'll tell you the Illuminati, I mean the IFA have a lot to answer for. This is fucking dickhead. These pricks. What a big bastard, there, not they? Something in your nose there, you big fucking dickhead.